and welcome. My name is Chef Julio Rodriguez. I'm the Caribbean chef. Today we're cooking one of Puerto Rico's and the Caribbean's favorite dish, mofongo. In making mofongo, we need green plantains. We're going to place them in salt water. We're doing that for two reasons. One is to maintain the color. The second one is to give the plantain a little salt, which you're going to enjoy later on once they're fried. The water has been drained and the plantains have been patted down for dryness. And now we're going to test to make sure that the oil is hot enough. That's perfect. Let's add the other plantains to the oil. Be careful that the oil doesn't spatter due to the, the water. We're going to fry these for about three to four minutes until they're lightly golden brown. Then we'll dry them and turn them into two fried plantains. Move the tostones so that they don't stick. And this is the color that you want. We're taking the tostones out of the frying oil and we're transferring it to a bowl with paper towels so that it can absorb most of the oil. We have two ways that we can prepare a toston. One of them is a mallet. The other is the old fashioned way that your mother used and that was by pressing with a paper bag. These tostones, now that they've been pressed, go back into the oil for the second time. Okay, the plantains are beautiful golden color as you can see and we're going to take these back into the paper towels so that the oil can be absorbed and we're going to get ready to make mofongo. This is the color that we are aiming for, nice golden brown. We're preparing a shrimp shell reduction sauce, which we're going to use for our stewed shrimp. I already started cutting some ingredients that we're going to be using for making the stewed shrimp. And what we have is tomato, onion, pepper, and cilantro. We're going to add a small amount of garlic and olive oil. We're adding white wine to create a sauce and the shrimp. To the shrimp, we're going to add 
the reduction of the shell. Small amount of adobo. The rest of the ingredients that we're adding are small amount of oregano, two bay leaves, some salt, small amount of pepper, tomato sauce, and alcaparrado, which is basically olives, peppers, capers. This is going to take about five minutes to cook. It's really very fast. And we're going to stuff a mofongo. The two or three minutes are up. And as you can see, the shrimp are ready. The nice pink color. The sauce is thickening. Everything looks beautiful. And we're ready to move on to the next step, which is making a mofongo. Very important part in making mofongo is pork rinds. And I suggest you get the ones from the store. They're basically puffy. They give you a fantastic crunch and make a great mofongo. We're going to use about, oh, a good four or five pieces. We're going to put them in a mortar and pestle and we're going to add our tostones. Also, most important part in making this is your mojito or garlic and olive oil. And we're going to beat, 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 beat. This is what you want, a nice paste, and you want to beat it in the center so that you create a well, which is where we're putting our shrimp. It's important that you have a butter knife that you can run along the edge of the mofongo and it's separated from the pilong. We're going to stuff the center of the mofongo. This is how it should look once you've stuffed the mofongo. This is the mofongo dome that you want, and it's stuffed inside with wonderful stewed shrimp. And now we're going to take some of that sauce, and we're going to put it around the edges. This is your finished product, a beautiful mofongo, garlic, tostones, pork rind, stuffed with camarones. Let's open it up and see how it looks inside. Ah. Delicioso.